This is a Collins 75A4 handband receiver, which is part of a set of Goldus twins that I'm uh, refurbishing for somebody. I just uh, finished doing uh, some work on the uh, the chassis. I've, um, I've recapped it. I used um, an Olsen cap kit that was supplied with the radio. Um, it's got one old plaster left in there, just <laughs> sort of for cosmetics. It's not connected to anything. Um, but everything else that needed to be replaced has been replaced. All the the bumblebee vapor caps have been replaced. Um, sort of thing here. And uh, several of the um, silver micas have been replaced as well. And uh, for those are known to, uh, to develop problems with age. Some of them are quite awkward to get to. They're sort of hidden down in the chassis down there. And uh, hidden behind there. <laughs> anyway, um, they're done. And I've done a few resistance checks on the chassis just to uh, to check there's no shorts or anything like that. And um, it seems to be okay, so I'm going to switch it on. I've got it on a Variac, but I've got it from full voltage at the moment. Yep, good sign, the S-meter's banged over, which I think it did do on these sets. It's tuned to the um, 40 meters handband and about 7 megahertz. S meter's dropping down now, which is what it should do. Some noise, I haven't got an antenna right. Um yes, I did couple um I did couple of signal generator up to it, yeah. So I've got the um little Packard uh eighty six oh one A sweeper on there but it's just on um CW at the moment. Air modulation, just over seven megs. Wow. And we've got the output set at uh, about 50 microvolts. This isn't particularly accurate, but it's pretty close. And that's coming in at uh, S9 plus 20, which is a bit high on the S meter. I'll do it on a different signal generator later. I'll probably use the um, 8656B, uh, um, which is pretty accurate. Anyway, they, um, that's good news. Up to one microvolt. It's on the medium selectivity. It's broad, medium, very narrow, perceivably only. This is probably the best one for uh, single sideband. This is probably the best for AM reception. There's six kilohertz this one. There's three microvolts. No problem. Anyway, it hasn't been. Uh, aligned or anything, it's just as, as received, so that's pretty good. Let's see if it works on the other bands. Uh, 20, 20 meters. Three. 14.3, that's pretty close. Try 15 meters. It's about 21.1. That's good. Try uh, 10 meters. It's not quite. 
<laughs> right, uh, 26.8. Nothing on 10 meters. Still that fun. It's cool. Okay, let's see. And it's coming through that fun. And 29.3. Okay, that too. So there's a problem on the 11 meter band, which we never use anyway. And I haven't tried uh, 160 meters yet. Let's try that. Mm -hmm. About 2.3 megs. No, 2.25. It reads reverse on this on this band. So it's working all bands apart from the uh, 11 meter band, the bottom end of the the 10 meter hand band. Okay, well that's good stuff. So there we go. For the switch on try out of a partly refurbished um, Collins 75A4 receiver, part of a set of Golders twins. I've got the transmitter. And the power supply for the transmitter to uh, to work on yet. Anyway, I'll finish uh, working on this. It needs um, the alignment checks and uh, tweaking probably. Um, troubleshoot the 11 meter band. Could be a problem with the crystal. And uh, see where we go from there.